Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So I know, first off, the lighting is awful. I apologize. I'm in my bathroom right now, so I can't really help the bad lighting. I've been trying to make it look good by like turning off lights and turning on lights and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm gonna show you the end result in my beauty room so you guys will see what it looks like once I'm in my beauty room, like the actual color. But anyways. Today, I'm going to be coloring my hair pastel pink. Now, I've been wanting pastel pink hair since my hair was dark and I was never able to do it. And it's been on my mind since I've been blonde and I'm just going to do it because you know what? You only live once and I don't want to die wishing that I colored my hair pastel pink. So I'm just going to do it. I know I've done pink strands in my hair in the past, but I want to do my whole head because those strands weren't enough for me. I've done under, like I've done a whole section under here pink before. I've done little pieces pink. I just wanna do my whole head and I want it to be as pastel as possible because I don't want it to like, I don't want it to last that long. I want it to be able to come out as easy as possible because I don't wanna be this color forever. Like I've colored my hair so much in the past that I'm like kind of scared to color my hair because I'm scared it won't come out because I had that issue where it took two years to go blonde and I'm like kind of freaking out a little bit. <sighs> so we're just gonna do it because like I said, I don't wanna die wishing that I colored my hair pastel pink. So we're just gonna do it. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. If you don't know me, I do have my cosmetology license. So I stopped at Cosmoprof. And I'll show you guys what I'm using. So I didn't wanna do this in my beauty room cause I knew I would get color all over the carpet and I don't wanna do that. I'd rather get it on the tile and wipe it up later. But I have a lot of hair, so I got the shade Rose from Joyco Color Intensity line. It's a semi-permanent color, so it should hopefully wash out after a few washes. And then I also have a rose gold because I want to add a little bit of this into that. I looked up pictures of what rose looks like and it's kind of like too pink for me. So I want to add some conditioner in it. So I'm going to do conditioner, rose, I've got two tubes of it in case, and then a little bit of rose gold just to spice it up a little bit. But I'm scared. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting the color in my little thing first and then I'm gonna swatch it on a paper towel so I can kind of get an idea of what the color is gonna look like on my head. So I'm probably honestly just gonna use like a half a tube of this. I'll probably need a whole tube but I'm just gonna do half a tube first and then just kind of see where that goes because I'm also gonna be using a decent amount of conditioner. Okay so I just did half a tube of the rose color. This is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of rose gold just to add, so it's not like bright pink, it's a little bit more like rose gold, I guess, I don't know. I was too scared to use pure rose gold because it looked kind of dark in, on the swatch. So I can't give you an exact formula because I don't have a scale, which I wish I did so I can like redo this color if I had to, but I just put the rose gold in there. And now I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna swatch this and see what it looks like and then add conditioner if I have to which I'm probably going to because I feel a little bit safer if I add conditioner in it. I'm definitely going to need more than this because I have so much hair, but I just kind of want to get the gist of what this is going to look like. So I just mix it up. I don't know if you can tell like the real color, but it's like still too pink for me. So I'm going to add more rose gold because I don't want it to be like hot pink. I want it to be like a rosy kind of color. Yeah, it's not... I don't know if you can tell, but in person it's like not as pink. But now I'm going to add conditioner and then I'll swatch that and see what it looks like. I'm just using whatever conditioner I had in my shower. It's the Amika The Cure Repair Conditioner. And I'm going to put a lot in here because I want it to be as light as possible. And this will take a while because this thing takes forever to like push back up to take more out. And I don't feel like taking the cap off. So, so if you are like a hair stylist, Joyco does have like a clear mixer, but honestly, it's just like using conditioner. So you might as well just save your money and use conditioner that you have in your shower. And my hair is really, really porous. It soaks up color. So I know that whatever color shows up on that white paper towel, it's honestly probably going to be a little bit darker. So that's why I'm trying to go as light as possible because my hair is so porous. It will drink anything. So I put like a boatload of conditioner in there. Joyco also has like a um, 
Oh my god, what is it called? Like a color butter, I think it's called. Where it's basically like a color intensity mixed with conditioner. And you can use that too, but honestly, when I used that on my hair, it came out like hot pink because I used the pink shade. But I probably could have used that and then mixed more conditioner in with it, but I just wanted to use. Because I felt like that one, even with conditioner in it, it probably still would have been too pink. But I just put like a lot more conditioner, so hopefully this does something. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay, well, I already know that this isn't going to be enough for my whole head, so I'm just going to mix the rest of one of the uh, rows i'm just gonna put the whole tube in there but i'm just putting the whole tube of rows and then i'm gonna put more obviously more rose gold in there just kind of eyeballing it mix that up and then i'll add more conditioner and this should be enough for my head so i'm not gonna be talking throughout this whole thing obviously while i'm applying the color i'll probably um, watch a YouTube video or something just to get my mind off the fact that I'm coloring my whole head pink right now I know it's not a big deal. It's pastel pink. It's not like I'm coloring it like neon blue But it's still a hair color and I have PTSD from when I used to color my hair so <laughs> So that will be like if I ever wanted to do this color again That would be kind of good to know that I used a whole tube of this and half a tube of this if that's the case so yeah, I'm just gonna speed through all this. If the lighting changes, it's because I'm trying to like adjust it to make it look somewhat somewhat good in this video. I know it looks horrendous, but I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my head from roots to ends and pray to God this doesn't look ridiculous on me because I've never, like I said, I've never had a full head of color before. But I'm gonna fast forward through all this. If you see me looking down or to the side, I'm watching a YouTube video. So don't mind that. And obviously I'm wearing a shirt I don't care about and I have some gloves too because it probably wouldn't stay in my hands but I just feel more comfortable wearing gloves. I'm actually gonna section my hair first. Okay, anyways, I'm done talking for real. Does the beat take you over? You just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the Alrighty, so I finished applying it. Now I'm gonna go into another room and look at the back of it and make sure it's all nicely saturated. I think it's good. It looks fine to me. I mean, even if I don't get it all the way on my root, it's fine because my roots are like. I have foils in, or I have a highlight in my hair. Like I get foils done, so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and double check, but I think I'm good. And I used, 
the entire bowl with nothing to spare and I tried to scrape off as much as I could off the brush but I'm gonna go double check in another room and make sure this is all saturated because with the color intensities you have to make sure the hair is really really saturated because sometimes when you pull the hair apart you'll see some dry pieces so that's why I'm gonna go double check and if I have to mix more I have to mix more I bought plenty so yeah, I'm gonna go check on this and make sure it's good. Alrighty, so I just double checked it and it's good to go. It's all nice and saturated, um, but I'm not too worried about like that area and like all the darker pieces I'm not worried about because obviously the pink won't show up on the dark pieces. It will only show up on the blonde pieces, which is the majority of my head. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on for 20 minutes because that's what the little tube says to do. You can put it under heat for that 20 minutes to help it last longer, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. I'm not gonna leave it on longer than that because once 20 minutes is up, 20 minutes is up, times longer than that doesn't really make a difference. Um, so I'm gonna leave it on for 20 minutes, chill, hang out, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like fresh out of the towel, and then I probably won't show you guys the final result until tomorrow. It will still be the same video for you guys, but I don't wanna put heat on my hair. Um, especially like a blow dryer. I hate blow drying my hair. It takes ages. So I usually just let my hair air dry Then maybe I'll curl it or something um, Tomorrow I try not to use too too much heat on my hair um, But so yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. I'll rinse it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like Alrighty, so I just ended up taking a shower because I had to anyways I literally have no idea what my hair looks like right now. And I'm kind of scared to take this turban thing off I can see some pink like right there. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What did I do? I'm gonna close my eyes and take this off. I'm gonna have to brush it. Keep that in mind. I literally have not taken it out of this yet. Oh my god, I'm so scared to look. Oh, what the heck? I think this is actually what I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit in front of my vanity lights because I literally cannot tell anything. So let's go sit in front of my vanity. Hopefully this doesn't look bad. I don't know what to think right now. This is exactly what I wanted. Just like barely even pink. The underneath is a lot more pink than the top. Did I not put enough up here? I think I kind of like it, but I won't be able to tell for sure until it's blow dried if I like it or not. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I think I like it, but it almost looks like I missed like this whole top part. I know the lighting still isn't the best. I usually sit like over there with my like big lights and it looks better, but so far this is pretty much what I wanted. I just wanted like hints of pink there's obviously some pieces that turned out more pink than others which was a kind of expected but it looks pretty good i think i mean i don't think i missed any spots i hope i didn't it looks like i missed this whole section right here but obviously i didn't like it was really saturated so i don't know so yeah, I'm not going to like blow dry it or anything tonight. I'm just going to let it air dry and then I'll curl it tomorrow morning and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. But so far I'm excited. I think I really like how it's like very subtle, but like there's some strands that aren't so subtle and I'm excited to see what it looks like once it's dry. But I'm not going to blow dry it. I'm going to curl it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, so it's the next day and this is what my hair looks like in these studio lights. I am so obsessed with it. This was my inspiration picture and it ended up turning out exactly like that and I'm so excited. The two front pieces looked like they didn't color last night when my hair was still wet and I was looking in the mirror I was like oh god those pieces didn't color. But I looked at it in natural light and I kind of let my hair dry and my ends are kind of colored like a rose gold pinkish color. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is so pretty. I did have different tones of blonde in my hair, so I knew putting this pink on top, I would end up with different tones of pink, which is exactly what I wanted. 
and I'm just so happy with it. I'm so happy I finally colored my hair because I don't regret it at all and I'm so happy I don't regret it. But anyways, that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like my new hair, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!